Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll talk about AWS IAM, which stands for Identity and Access Management. And in this video, I'll also be discussing about what IAM is, why it's important and how to create new users and groups in your AWS account. So first, let's talk about what IAM is. So in simple terms, IAM is a service that allows you to manage access to AWS resources and services for your users, groups and roles. This means that you can create and manage individual user accounts, assign permissions to specific resources or actions, and group users together for easy management. Now, the question is, why is IAM important? Why do you want to do IAM users? Why do you want to create IAM users, roles, and groups? Well, uh, it is important because of the reasons such as security and compliance. So by controlling who has access to your AWS resources, you can help protect your infrastructure and data from unauthorized access. So that's the reason that IAM is an important part of your AWS journey. Also, IAM allows you to meet compliance requirements by ensuring that access to resources is restricted based on job roles and responsibilities. So let's say we have a developer and we don't want to give a developer a role or let's say we don't want to assign a developer a responsibility where he can do the task which an admin is supposed to do. So we can basically create a user under that particular group and then we can assign the user to that particular group. So that is something that can be done. So now let's take a look on how to create new users and groups in IAM. So first log in into your AWS management console and then we are going to uh, migrate to your uh, IAM. We are going to move to IAM. Uh, service so this is how your aws console looks like now let's go to iam service search for iam so this is how my account currently looks like next you can go to users button where you can create a new user to whom you can assign certain groups so let's click on add users button once you click on add user, you need to add a username to whom you are uh, uh, to whom you are going to assign this particular user. You are going to give them these details and they are going to use this particular account to log in and use the password. So let's say I'm creating a user for myself only and let's call this user with my name. And then I want to provide user access to the AWS management console. So that is also something which I want to do. So I'll take this particular option. And then it says, uh, are you providing console access to a person? Specify a user and identity center. So it says that is what is recommended, but I want to create an IAM user. That's why I came to this particular page. And then there are these options to have a console password. So there are two options basically, auto-generated password and custom password. And um, let's say I don't want to use auto-generated password and I want to use a custom, custom password. And I want to create a password over here. So let's say I create a password according to the requirements that is given over here. Okay, I have created a password for my user Neha Gurg admin. And then it says users must create a new password at next sign in recommended. That is recommended because of security reasons, but I don't want to create password again and again whenever I'm going to sign in from this particular IAM user, the one that I'm creating because it is for myself only. So I don't want to create a new password every time I sign in. So I will untick this particular option. I'll uncheck this option and I'll move on to the next page. Now click on the next button over here. So uh, you will get these options, permission options, which says add user to group copy permissions and attach policies directly. So as of now, we are going to add the user to a particular group. And so that is the reason we are going to select this particular option among permissions options. So once this option is being selected, all these, uh, all these groups are already present. Let's say we want to create a new group. Okay. And I want to uh, name this group as administrator group. Okay. And I want to assign the policy let's say i want to give the administrator access to this particular group so i will select the policy name over here so this is the policy you can expand and you can go through the json file and you can see like what all it says it shows the version statement affect action resource we don't have to change anything over here we'll just select the administrator access the name of the policy and we will click on create user group you can also assign other policies if you want 
but as of now i just want to assign this particular access administrator access to our user the one that i'm creating right now so i'll click on create user group so that user group is being created now i will select this particular user group and let's see what is there in permissions boundary so it says use a permissions boundary to control the maximum permissions so i don't want to check this particular option let's keep it bare minimum just to understand that why we are creating a user and why we are creating a group and how we are assigning the user to that particular group now next i will cl click on next button so once this next button is being clicked um this is a review and create so this is a review or summary page over where you can see that this is the username this is the custom password that we have set uh, this is not the password but we have set the custom password that is what it says next in permission summary it says that this particular user has been assigned to the group and the group that we created was administrator and it is being shown over here and uh, this is the permissions group also there is something known as tags so tags are basically uh, aws uh, key key value pairs which you add to resources so they are just a kind of uh, metadata or an information that you are associating with the resource that you are creating in aws services so basically if you want to add a tag let's take an example of a tag over here let's say if i create a custom tag and i name the tag as department and the value that i assign to this particular department is let's say development so basically we are going to keep all the developers in this particular department okay so this tag will be associated with this particular uh, aws resource and then i will click on create resource create user and once i click on create user we get this particular we come to this particular step where it says retrieve password and we are kind of getting three options over here if you look into this carefully so one is this console sign in url uh we are getting these three information and this is the username of the new user that we have created and this is the console password which i have set just now now what next happens is you can either email these sign in instructions or you can download a csv file so when you download the csv file it will comprise of your username console sign in and console password and the third option is return to user list now let's go back to uh, user list and see what users we have created and let's try to analyze what we are doing over here so this is the user that we created neha gurk admin and let's go to user groups so these are some of the existing user groups and uh, it is still updating for administrator uh, one user has been associated over here so let's try refreshing this particular thing so once we refresh this particular page of user groups you can see that in administrator it says one so that means one user has been associated with this particular group so when i click on this option and i go inside this particular option i want to see which user is associated with this particular user group so it shows the username which we created just now one minute ago it says and what all permissions are being assigned to this particular user so this is the access that we associated for this particular user group and user next what we can do is inside permissions only we can click over here and let's see so it takes us to the policies page and it is still loading so over here we can see that the permissions are being given so what all permissions are being given what all is allowed to this particular uh, permission that it shows and administrative access this particular policy the description it says provides full access to aws services and resources now let's go back to our uh, user groups so this is the user that we have created uh, and we have associated with this particular admin uh, group administrator group so that is what these two pages it shows now let's see how you can uh, you know login into this particular user that we just created neha gargetman so let's go to dashboard and in dashboard you will see all these aws account information is being given so if you copy this particular uh, url okay and then you open an incognito window let's say and then you paste this particular url the one that we copied just now okay so it has this account id and then it is asking for i am username okay and then the username that we gave just now was let's go to our users itself this was the username that we gave okay so you can put in this username okay and then you can actually uh, put the password that you created 
let's try to log in so you will see that it has logged in the user that we just recently created so now you can start using this particular uh, console uh, for the security reasons so this is the user that you just now created so you can see over here it says i am user so that's the difference over here if you will see it says i am user and if you go over here it does not say so that's the root user and over here this is the user that we created just now so that's it for today we hope that you found this tutorial helpful in understanding aws iam and how to create new users and groups remember to follow for more practices of iam and we are going to share more such aws labs and videos related to hands on practice and thank you for watching i hope this video was informative to you and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye